We've become obsessed with animals as a generation, my, certainly my generation, people in the 40s, because we were introduced to the world of the animal kingdom through David Attenborough. And the problem is, if you ever watch one of those wildlife programmes with your partner, you always end up getting compared to it. Like, I've been married now for 18 years, on and off, and always... <laughs> And always what happens is you sit there, you're watching a wildlife documentary, and all of a sudden she thinks that reflects our relationship. So, so you'll see there was a documentary on about six months ago about these penguins, these emperor penguins, that go down to the South Pole. And they're there in the Antarctic. They're there in sub-zero temperatures. And the female penguin will lay an egg. And then piss off. And the male penguin then has to stand on the egg for three months, three months, on the egg, stand there in minus 50 degrees, while a female penguin's out with the mates clubbing or doing it. <laughs> well, one of the female penguins get up to, and then come back three months later, at which point he's nearly dead, and then he has to go and get something to eat. And we're sat on the couch watching it, and she's looking at me going, three months? You wouldn't do that for me, would you? You sat last week, you wouldn't do that for me, would you, eh? What do you want me to do? I'm not a penguin. <laughs> you have an egg, I'll sit on it. <laughs> hey, hey, cool, I love that proper love, that penguin. And then there was another one about a seahorse. I don't know if you know this, the seahorse is the only animal in the animal kingdom where the male gives birth. Oh. So she's a seahorse is giving birth. I'm looking at this seahorse going, what are you doing that for? She's going, <laughs> Look at that. Now, that's an animal that loves its partner. He's giving birth. I had to give birth for you, you bat. You didn't give birth. Either. <laughs> so I'm sat there. And then there was a programme about mosquitoes. And I don't know if you know this, but the female mosquito, from the moment it hatches out of the egg, spends all of its life sucking. I just looked at her and went... <laughs> <laughs>